Hello YouTubers, Cyberdyne24 here to show you another piece of outdoor power, new piece of equipment for my site, for my site business, EMI property maintenance. Let's go take a closer look at it. It is an Echo SRM230, which is their straight shaft trimmer. I originally said I was going to get a SRM280, but the 280 seemed to be a little bit too much overkill for me but this is a good enough it's a it's a good enough weed whacker it's got a 22.8 cc engine on it which is still got plenty of power and torque behind it you got your very nice easy very nice comfortable grip handles nice shaft and as you can see right here the head is actually quite interesting on it it is a new bump feed style head. Now this head was primarily used by the Shindawa Corporation. Recent, not too long ago was purchased by Echo. And this is their new kind of bump feed head, which instead of, you know, taking a spool out and spooling a spool, you just take a predetermined amount of line, you sift it through both of these eyelets, and you just turn the actual head itself and it winds the spool which is actually really really nice so you don't have to deal with like spooling a whole bunch of spools and stuff like that now this particular trimmer ran me about two seven ran me about 279 and this i got from an echo dealer not from you know home depot or anything like that because i'm a big supporter of the of the echo deal echo steel husqvarna dealers and let's see if we give this thing a shot. Give this thing a shot and uh, see how it works. Now, bear in mind, this ha this has been started today, so it's going to be kind of a warm start. Believe me, with a cold start, it starts up pretty simple. Let me just. All you got to do in this particular case. is flip it onto on position. We really don't need no we really don't need choke on it. Maybe just add a couple primes of gas in it just to be safe. Depress the depress the throttle off. And believe me, starting this thing is actually such a breeze. I mean Echo has gone a long way in their starting capabilities. I mean, a lot of echo equipment, there's echo equipment out there that you will see that has what they call the I-30 start, which means that there's a special, there's a, the spring is a little bit special on it that um, it helps reduce about 30% of the strength needed to pull over this engine. And they also have the, I believe it's either I-70 or I-70 I or I-75 start, which reduces like 70 to 75% of the pulling power which for a lot of older cup a lot of older people it's a great advantage to have because then you don't have to worry about starting you won't have trouble starting these machine this machine so like i said everything's all turned on primed i put a little bit more gas in it because they only put a little bit of gas in it to run it a little bit to see how it runs but here it goes Try with a little. I guess they need. Guess I need a little choke. And as you can see with it, it really doesn't run that loud. Now let's go give a dry run on this and see what. A little bit of uh, overgrowth, and let's see how this thing works, and also how the bump head works. How about that? So here, let me get the camera in the proper, proper shot.
And as you can see, ladies and gents, this is one fine piece of outdoor power equipment. Believe me, if you're looking for a good homeowner, homeowner grade uh, weed whackers, Echo is the brand to go with. Even on a professional, even on professional levels, Echo and Steel are both very good, very comparable. But for me, I prefer Echo because I've used Echo for a very long time. So there you go, YouTubers. Hope this gives you a little bit of deciding factors when you go when you go to purchase a new weed whacker. By all means, don't go cheap. Actually, spend your money, and believe me, you'll get your money's worth, and you'll get a very long-lasting machine. You have a good one, YouTubers.